What's going on guys? It's your boy Terror by Reacts here. What's going on Terror Squad? We are here once again for Evangelion. Um, I didn't get a chance to put out an episode on Thursday, so that's why you're getting this maybe late Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, but I'm going to try to do two episodes today. We're just going to knock them out, okay? Um, Evangelion is, is shaping up to be one of those really good animes right now so I'm um, I pay attention a lot during this anime try not to do too much talking um, but I'm happy to say in the last episode was more of like it was one of those perspective ep episodes where you know seeing things from somebody else's perspective um, again um, making sure that um, um, what happened in that last episode was this dude that was creating something to put the EVAs out of business or whatever the situation is, um, was trying to create an unmanned um, EVA, if you want to say that. Um, he, he was trying to create a unmanned, something that doesn't require somebody to be inside of. Um, anything that is um, not nuclear powered, but like, having any sort of nuclear kind of activity going on reactor inside of it is always super dangerous you know what i'm saying um you know most of our power these days come from nuclear power plants P um power power plants okay um so it's not a foreign technology um but it's also a very dangerous technology Right. Because if an explosion goes off, you know what I'm saying? You can basically kiss that area goodbye. You know what I'm saying? It'll take years. I'm talking about, I mean, even up until this day, Chernobyl is like, nobody can really go there. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to be in, people don't even really dive into that area because even in protective gear, because it's just like when nukes go off, it's the effects is, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like for years and years and years before anybody can even go there, you know what I'm saying? Because of, you know, getting radiation sickness and stuff like that. So we can only take radiation in very small doses. It's not something that we can harbor within our body. Um, so it can be used for good, but it's also a very bad thing to be around, um, on a continuous basis. It can make you really, really sick. So the situation happened that, you know, they were testing it. It got out of control. Um, but then we found out, oh shit, maybe Shinji's dad had something to do with the sabotage because, you know, but girl, um, what's her name? Masabi? I think that's her name. I, I I keep forgetting her name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The hot chick that Shinji is living with. Um, the captain, right? She had to go out there with Shinji in um, EVA-1 and basically go into this core, this nuclear core, in protective suit, of course, and basically found out that it was just something that just they were trying to shut it down with a code with a you know like a um a kill switch code but the code didn't work um so just to show you basically the perspective that i got from that was basically that just to show you that okay we don't need you know it's not about just the evas like if we had a chance as human beings to actually fight against the angels we would but we can't you know what I'm saying? And just to show you that how far she would go, like she, she's a soldier, heart and soul, a soldier. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you were doubting why are these, why these people got rank and all this other stuff, if, if it's just always these kids fighting the battles, you know what I'm saying? That goes to show you looking at it from that perspective as in they're, these are soldiers. You know what I'm saying? It's just that without these EVAs, like, 
you know, we can't go out there in, in you know what I'm saying, in, in with guns because these guys out here, these angels are tanking nukes, you know. So I'm glad that they kind of got to show that perspective also um, in that episode. Like we're going to jump into episode eight. Hopefully we can get two episodes in. I'm planning to do two, but if something happens, something just happens, okay? Um, thank you guys for coming over here and watching. Go ahead and click on that link and we'll be right back here for the review. So... Let's go watch these episodes. See y'all for the review. Okay, so <clears throat> what's going on, guys? So you got two episodes of Event Galleon this time around. This has been great, man. It's been awesome so far. So episode, what, eight and nine? Yeah, episodes eight and nine. Um, in episode eight, we got to meet the second child, which is, her name is, what is it? Asuka? I think, I think it's Asuka. Um, she's the pretty girl though. You know what I'm saying? Like you have three different kinds of pilots. Um, they're, they're all kind of weird, but I think everybody can relate more to 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 asuka right uh or is it i don't know you got i don't remember her name honestly but i think it's asuka but it's it's so the the difference between the three of them right um ray being very stoic shinji is is um He's not stoic. He's just he's just a shy dude, um, wondering why he's doing what he's doing. But he's getting used to it, getting more cheerful as he has more friends, right? But Asuka, if that's her right name, she her personality is bright, it's sunshine, it's I can do anything, but she's very selfish on top of that. So she's like the mean girl. You know what I'm saying? Um She's like a mean girl, the high school, the, the most popular girl, you know what I'm saying? Thinks she can do anything to anybody, gets away with it, and she wants to ride solo. So, um, but she had to work with Shinji. Um, even in the episode, she didn't want to work with him, but um, but she ended up having to work with him and to, to help him get away from that angel in the water, that, you know, that shark type angel. So that was pretty cool to see them trying to fight this thing on the water. She had to use a ship, a couple of ships, jammed it in his mouth, blew it up. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, I don't understand. The thing that's very mysterious about, um, was it the last episode or this? Uh, I think it was the end of the last episode. The thing that um, Kaji brought to Shinji's dad um, and said it was like the first human. And it's still alive. And you know what I'm saying? So... I'm waiting to see them explore that because I don't know what that's about. And it's even called Adam, which is crazy, right? Um, so what are they saying? All humans came from robots? Because they said this is the first human being, which is weird. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking to see what that is going to develop in. But in the second the second one, episode nine, um, we got to see them actually having to work together. They went out and got their asses kicked because she jumped in. Oh, boom, got the sword, cut it down the middle, thought it was dead, that it was done. No, the thing split into two. Um, so they had to practice how to synchronize together because that's what it would have taken by Misato. Hopefully I don't, I don't forget her name again. Misato, 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 okay? Um, every time I come back to do the video, I always forget what her name is. Um... It's just, it's crazy. Uh, me and names is just not great. Sometimes I remember names. If I see something long enough, I'll remember. But if it's like a glimpse, you know, sometimes I forget. But Misato is one of those those characters that I really, I, I like her. I like her character in this because she is the brains behind the whole operation. You know what I'm saying? She's the, she's the brains um, that leads them into battle. So, you know, she's seen something in the, she has the military skills to lead them. She came up with a strategy to beat them. Um, so it had to be a coordinated a attack and they had to move exactly the same. And they practice practice. I think they were doing dance, dance revolution or some, 
or, or, or something like that to get um, the things to get <laughs> the, the, the synchronization down and she was like oh why do I have to do this uh, he's the one that's the problem and Misato told Ray go do it and it was instant connection because um, they already have that chemistry you know what I'm saying she's not trying to fight it so it's easy you know what I mean? Which sin with Shinji, she's not fighting it. They already understand each other on some level. So for she was ashamed, she was embarrassed by that situation, and then she decided that she's not gonna give up. So she actually got through it with Shinji, learning the moves, dancing together, whatever the situation, sleeping um together, to kind of synchronize. Um and this is actually true in in, in actually real life it is something that is also possible um i don't know if you guys have ever held a i don't want to say a newborn baby but like a baby that's a couple months old if that baby lays on you long enough you realize that your heart like synchronized with theirs i think it's it's one of the things that can get a child to really get comfortable with you i mean it's just one of those things that on research i don't know if it's actually researched or whatever but it's one of those things that i've noticed in my life when i used to take care of my nephews and stuff like that when they were younger um you'll have them laying on you and you realize that your heart and their heart it's one of the most beautiful things to experience actually you know what i'm saying it's like um your heartbeat just synchronized and you're like oh it's a great feeling too. So it's one of those things in, in, that I'm using as as an example to show you that is actually something that can actually happen. I mean, you guys have watched um, synchronized swimming. That shit is ridiculously good. You know what I'm saying? To move so in concert, the same moves is something that can that can really connect people. You know what I'm saying? You guys have seen it in dance. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, that when it's 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 a beautiful thing to see a group of dancers you know with the core the choreography and everything going and and everybody moving the same way it's just a beautiful thing to see so i like i like that's why i love dance so much but i use the baby example because it you know it's on a deeper level you know what i mean it's just on a deeper level so i like that um but these two episodes were, were really good, more on the funny side more than anything else. It introduced a new babe, which is awesome. Um, more 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 girls for the boys in class to, to lust after, right? Even though she doesn't she thinks every boy is a pervert, but she wants to be with Kaji, which is <laughs> come on. You know, and the, the relationship between Kaji and Misato, like it, it, as I said, it seems like he just hit it and quit it, and she was in love. She fell in love with him, so now she thinks he's a jerk, but she can't resist him. It, you know what I'm saying? It happens. So, um, so definitely these episodes are pretty cool, man. Love them. Um, so guys, Evangelion would go back to one episode. Not go get two episodes. One episode next week Tuesday. So, see you guys for that. It's your boy Terry by Reacts. Don't forget to like. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and also leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you thought of these two episodes. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts and peace.